The heart and soul of the Foundation Center's work has always been to help nonprofits find the philanthropic resources they need to make our communities better. More than ever, under-resourced nonprofits especially need free and equal access to information if they hope to thrive. Just as nonprofit organizations and those they serve face their greatest time of need, foundation dollars are becoming harder to get, and we are there for them creating streamlined pathways and building new networks so that anyone, anywhere, can connect with us at any time. Let us explore with you a few of the most important concepts that center our work and share some concrete examples of how these concepts come to life. Connections, collaboration, capacity building, customer focus, community. We're forging strengthened connections with our audiences, both online and in person, and creating new channels for connecting grant seekers with one another and with their grant-making partners. How? Our blogs, Philanthropy Front and Center. They share regional information about philanthropy and the work of the Center, and feature content generated by our staff blog beat reporters. Use of our blogs is on the rise. Another way we connect with our audiences is through podcasts. Our Philanthropy Chat series is expanding our reach as we present podcasts of regional, national, and perhaps in the not-too-distant future, international interest. Our team of online librarians connects nonprofits to the best resources every day and recently kicked our creative engine into high gear by creating a new MapShot, Best ARRA Funding Resources by State, which is populated by resources feeding to it from Delicious, a social bookmarking site, and which gets updated automatically as new resources are added. Another way that we are using the social web to connect with our audiences is through our Twitter feeds, which are attracting more followers every day and making word of mouth easy. One tweet can go viral in a matter of seconds. These days, collaboration is king, and collaboration is part of our daily practice in nonprofit services, working across departments, within our communities, and across borders with other organizations, partners, and of course our own network of free funding information centers, now known as cooperating collections. Our network of collections has grown to 425 libraries, community foundations, and other nonprofit resource centers throughout the United States and beyond our borders in Brazil, Mexico, Nigeria, South Korea, Thailand, and Australia. Each year, our staff visits more than 100 of them in person and connects with many more at CCNet, at regional meetings throughout the country, and at Network Days, our annual conference for collection staff. Most recently, we presented our first Virtual Network Days, a two-day event taking place entirely online and by teleconference and attended by some 300 people. It featured virtual meetups, podcasted messages, Train the Trainer webinars, interviews, and special sessions led by collection staff, Foundation Center, and outside subject experts. We take seriously our goal to build the capacity of the nation's nonprofits and began last year to offer our free classes as webinars, something that has proven to be very popular. Each month, we offer about a dozen sessions attended by an average of 40 people. Recordings are archived so anyone, anywhere, can view them at any time. Our capacity building services are not only delivered virtually via webinars, but also face to face and sometimes in Spanish. Leveraging our Spanish language print publication Guía para Escribir Propuestas, we've developed and received funding for Spanish language training tours in California, Texas, Florida, and Philadelphia. Bien hecho! Who said when the going gets tough, the tough get going? We've certainly gotten going in building a new enthusiasm for reaching new and existing customers. By focusing on specific fields of interest, we're bringing people together through special focus months like Funding for Education Month, and national corporations and foundations have taken notice. We have raised some $25,000 so far this year in sponsorships. And in these tough times, we're also working hard to create revenue-generating opportunities for the Center by finding new ways to get our products and services in front of potential customers. We are widely promoting them in our library learning centers via live chat reference and elsewhere. At the end of the day, 
Nonprofit Services is all about helping nonprofits find the philanthropic resources they need to make our communities better. Our new web portal, now called GrantSpace, is all about community. To provide a whole new experience for grant seekers, GrantSpace will start off with five subject based communities arts, health, human services, education, and environment, and four areas of core knowledge proposal writing, nonprofit management, prospect identification, and fundraising. We hope to grow these areas over time. Networks will be woven throughout the site in the form of wikis and user groups from which we will proactively engage with our audiences in virtual classrooms, via live chat and other means, and from which they can connect with one another. As you can see, our plans do not include slowing down, but deploying our creative spirit in a concentrated effort to fulfill philanthropy's promise of serving the public good. We feel confident that we are on the right track and working smarter to serve the many nonprofit organizations that have come to rely on us for tools they can use and information they can trust. Thanks for listening.